Hey, Dr. Joel Baumgartner here. If any of you guys saw Dr. Wing's quick tip that he gave us on kind of looking at the thoracolumbar fascia, I just come up with a quick little follow-up on that too because that was a great demonstration of how we can see that fascia. All of us treat low back pain. It's something that you're going to see every single day coming into your practice. As you start following us here at the RPR, you're going to see a lot of different tools that we're going to give you on diagnostics, on injection technique, on differential diagnosis. Let's talk real quick about the differential di diagnosis of low back pain. Because when I first started this, it was like, ah, oh, not another back pain patient. But now I love it when my chief complaint is low back pain. So for example, talking about Dr. Wayne was talking about from superficial to deep, there's a lot of pain generators in the spine. We're kind of thinking of actual spine pain and radicular spine pain. We often think about degenerative disc disease, facet arthritis. We have different exam techniques, which we'll show you, that can diagnose the difference between facet versus discogenic is a radicular. Talking about those, some of the issues that are coming right from the spine, we talked about the thoracolumbar fascia. Definitely a pain generator. You can enthesopathy at all the insertion points here over the iliac crest. As you start going down to the next one in that same area that I was telling us, a little bit deeper there is the iliolumbar ligament. Now when you're ultrasound scanning, you see that thoracolumbar fascia is thick. Look for about like a two millimeter thickness. If it's bigger than that, there's something going on there to dive deeper. It's the same thing with the iliolumbar ligament. And I'm gonna give you some pearls down the road on how to find that ligament. I'm often finding that when I look at the iliolumbar ligament, it's thickened on one side, not the other. Again, if it's greater than two millimeters, something's going on there. You can look at it, you can do a diagnostic injection. We'll talk about different solutions you can use for that. But the iliolumbar ligament is definitely a pain generator. There's different provocative tests we can teach you how to do that. Other things in that same area that he was just at are all of your clunial nerves, the superior clunial nerve, you know, L1, 2, and 3, plus the iliohypogastric nerves are all coming through that fascia that he just put some solutions there to decrease your pain. So also start thinking about the nerves. Now we're going to be talking a lot about nerves here in some of these quick tips down the road, but differential diagnosis is key, diagnostic skills, ultrasound skills, and a great exam is going to really help you in this.